bring in the guard. That is the call from some Chicago lawmakers who say violence there is now so rampant they would like the National Guard to step in and help to patrol the streets. How rampant is it? Well, the number of homicides in that city since just the beginning of the year, since January, 113. And in one night alone last week, seven people were killed, 18 others hurt, most of them by gunfire. On the phone with us is Susana Mendoza. She's a Democratic state representative. Uh, representative Mendoza, where do you stand on this? Well, I'm really glad, and I applaud my colleagues for having uh, had the courage to stand up and ask for something drastic to be done to try to curtail this uh, violence. It's just out of control. Now, will it be the National Guard? Most likely not. But the fact that they're even going to that length means that this is a real serious epidemic that we're living right now. Do you think they made the statement just to draw the attention to it, more of a publicity move? Well, I think that all options should be on the table. So, And I think that's what they're saying. I mean, we have... Uh, neighborhoods that literally feel as if they are part of a war zone. We don't need to go to Iraq or Afghanistan. We've got it right here in the city of Chicago in certain neighborhoods. So why not talk about um, accessing the National Guard if that is an option? Now, I don't think that's what the final solution is going to be, but we should be looking at all options, whether it's the National Guard, whether it's gunshot detection systems like ShotSpire that I'm working with, and uh, whatever it takes to try to analyze what we can uh, do to make the best use of police resources, and not to mention, you know, uh, there's a problem and there's an issue with confidence in the uh, superintendent of the police department in Chicago. And I think that something needs to be done to get their attention to actually try to save people's lives. It's 113 so far. Tomorrow it will be more, and we're going to continue to see this escalation as June, July, and August come. The mayor, we should point out, the mayor, uh, Mayor Daley, just last hour said he was not in favor of it. Uh, the superintendent also, over the weekend, was very clear about saying this is not what the National Guard is designed to do or trained to do. Uh, he said that he's going to have a mobile strike force out, 100 officers this summer, to try to tamp down on it. Are you saying there just isn't enough confidence that the, the Chicago PD can get it done? Well, frankly, I personally don't believe that the um, superintendent of the police department is doing enough to curtail this violence. I think his, his um, hot spot uh, proposal that he has is not enough. We should be coupling that with actual technology that we have available that could be used in the city of Chicago to try to do a better job of tracking where these gunshots are coming from in real time and be able to zero in on them. Uh, this, this system that we're advocating for, many of us are, called ShotSpotter, is working great in about 50 other cities in this country, yet Chicago refuses to really like embrace this technology and try to move forward. We need to do something now. Susana Mendoza, we appreciate your time. We'll continue to follow it. Stop, follow it. We do have a request out to the police superintendent to get his uh, side of the story. Thanks. Thank you so much.